Hello everyone, Kryptonite here and welcome back to another Dinkum video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about animal farms. So I'm guessing quite a lot of you have your animal farm set up. Probably not in the same way as mine, but you'll make sure that your animals have shelter, a feeder and you pet them regularly. Now while this is good practice to level up your animals friendship level with yourselves, because this does cause them to provide you with higher quality items such as the big chicken egg and the high quality milk now so far we only have two items that are craftable that require the high quality milk and the big chicken egg one being this one here the pavlova which gives you a massive boost in your health and your energy and also gives you a boost in your experience now as you can see this one requires four big chicken eggs so i've got this recipe here and then with the cheese maker and the high quality milk we can make high quality cheese so as you can see with your chickens and your wombats it is a very good idea to get them leveled up your friendship i found that around the three and a half to four heart friendship level and make sure you have the necessary requirements every day so that's petting them which we'll talk about in a bit and then your shelter and your food the problem with this is is once you start acquiring big chicken eggs and high quality milk from them it's very difficult to get normal chicken eggs and normal milk which as you can tell by the cooking table with things like the quiche and the damper and the sausage rolls they, there is a lot more recipes that require just normal chicken eggs and normal milk. So let's get a bit more in depth on the best way to achieve this. So the way I have things set up is I have two individual farms. I have one farm which is close to my town center. The reason for this being is I've built a fence with a gate. Now this is key so you don't have to keep relying on yourself to remember to pet the animals. If you have a gate on your farm your town residents will also go into the farm and pet the animals for you. Now, I do highly recommend you having a silo so you can automatically refill your feeders. Now, as I said you want each animal at roughly three and a half to four hearts. Now Shanya here, my Vombat, when she reached three and a half hearts she started providing me of high quality milk so i found that this is a nice sweet spot so if you are lucky enough like me to have the guitar you can also use this to pet all of your animals at once i normally do this as soon as i wake up before i carry on with my day but as you can see here just keep left clicking with the guitar and you will eventually pet all your animals at once for your animals to provide you with high quality items they do need to have all their needs satisfied to that shelter food and petting now if we just head over to my other farm over here the requirements for the basic items such as your normal milk and your normal chicken eggs is quite a bit lower so in regards to your chicken eggs all your chickens need is food and that's all they need they don't need any shelter or any petting and your vombats on the other hand as you can see here they don't need any food all they need is just shelter so as long as your vombats have a shelter, they will provide you with milk as well. Just collect these chicken eggs while we're here. So yeah, it's as simple as that guy. That's how to make your animal farms as efficient as you can. I still am expended, expanding my other one over there for my basic eggs and milk. So there we go, everyone. Hopefully you all like that short little animal farm tip video. I am thinking about restarting Dinkum with a new game and doing a Let's Play series. So if that interests you, let me know down in the comments down below. Let me know if you'll be interested in watching that. And if you did like this video, make sure you smash that like button and make sure you subscribe for more content thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next one